Hi there. Welcome back to another edition of Congregation Agudath Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. Today I'd like to discuss one of the more interesting and eccentric personalities of the 19th century, a fellow by the name of Warder Cresson. This week in 1844, Warder Cresson was appointed and subsequently released from his duties from being the first American consul in Jerusalem. Who was Warder Cresson, and what makes his story so interesting? Cresser was born into a Quaker family in Philadelphia in 1798. By the time he was in his 40s, Cresson had already experimented with many different religious groups, including the Shakers, the Mormons, and Seventh-day Adventists. Under the influence of some of these groups, Cresson became infatuated with the Jewish people and was convinced that God was imminently going to gather the Jewish people back to Jerusalem. And so, he decided to move to Jerusalem in order to witness these divinely driven events firsthand. But before leaving Philadelphia, Cresson applied to the State Department to serve as the first American consul to the city of Jerusalem. After lobbying by his local congressman, Cresson surprisingly received the appointment, despite his unusual views and personality. Unfortunately for Cresson, upon arriving in Jerusalem, he learned that his appointment had been revoked. But while in Jerusalem, Cresson became very impressed by the poor, pious Jews of the city, and being the religious seeker he was, he decided to convert to Judaism. He styled himself after the story of the righteous convert Ruth, who you see in this picture. Cresson decided that he needed to return to Philadelphia to put his matters in order before he could return to Jerusalem permanently. While in Philadelphia, he prayed at the Svartic Mikveh Israel Synagogue, one of the oldest synagogues in the United States. However, awaiting him in Philadelphia were his wife and children whom he had left behind. And upon return, Cresson's wife filed suit against him, asking the court to declare him insane due to his conversion to Judaism. The court found that these were indeed grounds for declaring Cresson insane. However, he appealed the decision and it was overruled. Cresson's trial has been held as precedent that conversion to another religion cannot be held as proof of insanity. Cresson divorced his wife, returned to Jerusalem, and adopted the name Michael Boaz Israel. In the 1850s, he remarried in Jerusalem and died there in 1860. He was buried in the ancient Jewish cemetery on the Mount of Olives. And so, Warder Cresson will forever be remembered as a religious seeker, an independent spirit, and as we said, one of the more eccentric figures of his time. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.